In this video, you will learn how to write math expressions in Google Slides. In fact, you can use the same method to write math expressions in Google Docs and also in Google Forms. There are at least three methods to put math expressions and math equations in Google Documents, which I have described in detail in one of my other videos. And I will put a link to that video at the end of this video, which you can watch. But in this video, we will be focusing on one method that does not require you to put any code because the other two methods are LaTeX based methods, which need some code. And you must understand how to write math equations in LaTeX. I also have a 25 minute video on LaTeX equations. And that will be the second video, which I will put at the end of this video. So if you watch these three videos, this video and the two at the end, you will know three methods to write math expressions in Google Slides, Google Docs and Google Forms. So let's get started after a short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir. And on this channel, I make videos about educational technology tools available to students and teachers and also some of the subjects which I teach. If you are interested in these topics, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel, normally every Tuesday and Friday. And because it is a beginner's tutorial, I have selected a variety of math expressions. And if you learn how to write these expressions, you should be able to write any math expressions up to year 12. In LaTeX based methods, you normally insert an image in Google Slides, the image of the math expression. And that is what this slide currently has. This is an image which I have inserted. And I created these equations in LaTeX by writing this few lines of code. And if you are writing a large number of equations, I would suggest that you learn the LaTeX method by watching my video at the end of this video because that will save you a lot of time. As you can see that for these equations, I can quickly write this code if I know how to write and I can create these equations. And on this slide, you can see the latex code on the left and the corresponding math equation on the right. It is very quick to write this equation using this latex method than the method which I'm going to show you in this video. But because most of you guys don't know latex, therefore let's see what is the simpler method? Now for this method to work, we have to install an add-on to our Google documents and add-ons are applications which add additional functionality to your Google documents. So I click on add-ons in my Google slides and then manage add-ons. And I have only one add-on installed and now the add-on for math expression, which we are looking for is called Hypatia Create. And as I start typing in this box, I get this, I click on that. And this is the add on Hypatia create. And if you look at the bottom, you can see that more than 10 million users are using this add on, mostly math teachers and students. So I click on that and I click install, then continue. And now I choose my account, which must be a Google account, of course. And then I click allow because the app needs certain permissions. And now I will see this message. Hypatia Create has been installed. I can now close this dialog box and this as well. And now I am ready to write math expressions in Google Slides. I click on a new slide. And now if I click on add-ons and Hypatia Create, I can see these options. If you don't see these options and you only see this help, just reload the page, refresh your page by clicking on this round arrow and you will see the options because sometimes it happens. And now I click on insert math. And now I click on insert edit math. And I will see this welcome message. I can close this. And underneath I have this math equation editor, which you can use in Google Slides. And if you look at the bottom, this is the equation writing style, which we have been using for many years in Microsoft Word. And no coding is required to write these type of math expressions in Google Slides. So let us start writing our first equation, which is a simple quadratic equation. I type AX and then for exponent, I click on this X square 
and this is the box style I want. So I will get a box for exponent, I type 2, then I press right arrow and plus on my keyboard, then bx and plus c equals 0 is as normal. And now I can click on this insert and if I close this, the equation will be inserted in Google Slides which I can resize just like that. Again, I click on insert math and our second equation is a quadratic formula. So I type x equals and now I have to put a fraction. So I click on that and I select this fraction boxes. In numerator, I type minus b then plus minus and I select this. For square root, I click on this then b again select this box b square minus 4ac and in this box I type 2a and click insert. And if I close this, I have my second equation. I can resize just like that. And now I will just show you how to write the rest of the equations in this Hypatia create add-on so that you will know how to write various symbols. And now we write our third equation a subscript n equals to raised to the power n plus 2 a subscript n minus 1. So I type a then this is subscript n equal to n plus 2a then this box n minus 1 and now I can insert and resize and now I right click here and create a new slide just delete this and now I will be adding equations on this slide insert math and our next equation is a radical equation, a square root term inside a cubic root term. For this we start from this and, and we type 3 here and inside this we have n plus and then again we use the same root symbol n square plus 8 n then this, this box square plus Eight and right arrow and our equation number 5 is involving integral so we click on this integral sign we don't have these limits so we click right arrow twice then I select this fraction d and for theta I click on this pi and select theta then I click on the denominator 1 plus theta square again theta then I click on this square, select this box and type 2 and press right arrow twice is equal to 10 inverse theta plus c is equal sign then I click on this 10 then power sign and select this box and type minus 1 right arrow then again theta plus c this is the next equation I click insert and resize just like that and now our next equation contains the summation sign and the binomial sign and both of these signs are available in this x square I click on this summation and my limits are k is equal to 0 to n k is equal to 0 and then I type n here and then the binomial is also here I click on that then n and k and then I click on the right arrow or I just use the mouse to click there and is equal sign then 2 and raised to the power n so this was our example number 6 I click insert and I resize this now our last example contains everything which we have already done and this is your assignment. You should install Hypatia on Google Docs, then you open a slide and then you try to write this equation. And don't forget to watch these two videos which are showing on the screen to learn about the 
latex method of writing equations because if there are too many equations it is better to write them in latex and compile it then take the screenshot just like that and then insert in your google slide latex based method is much quicker than writing each equation individually thanks for watching and see you next time